Hi, I'm Marlon Walker and I'm live from Helen's Wasteland and today I have an episode of solo play for you. Not sure how much actual play we're going to get to. I think we may end up basically just going over the character that I've built and talking about him and his history and all that sort of stuff. But um, this is going to be the first in a series, so we will do more solo play stuff with uh, Western Hero and with this character. So hopefully you guys are excited about that. I am certainly excited about that. I also hope that you cannot hear my neighbor, my upstairs neighbor, is playing loud music and I can hear bass from their music. And um, yeah, I'm hoping you guys cannot hear that because like they would guys. But we've got this little piece of art that I really like, this sort of skeletal cowboy holding up a revolver. And then we have this piece of art, which is of Sam Walker. Lucas Samuel Walker goes by Sam to his friends. He is also known sometimes as the Ranger. Kind of, he's a bit of a, a wastrel, a vagabond, kind of roams around. You know, he's the lone gunman roaming around solving problems for people, but he never sort of stays in one place long enough to, to settle down, really. Um, and he is basically built... Um, I built him before I did any of these uh, cowpoke templates that I'm going to use for NPCs, um, but he's built with a crazy high number of things. I originally was counting all of his points, and including a complication discount for a couple of complications i got to i think around 200 just under 250 and then i started kind of adding things without kind of being as meticulous about counting the points and all that sort of stuff so he's probably in the realm of between 250 and 300 for a character um he's he's big and he's strong and he's agile, and he's got a, a sort of incredible force of will, a presence to him that he can, uh, you know, use to intimidate people and all that sort of stuff. Um, Combat-wise, he's got some levels. He's got a bunch of levels in firearms, a couple of levels in boxing, sweet science, and then one in bowie knife. Um, the powers is where his weapons are, so he's got a Colt. Peacemaker, one on either hip, and then he's got the shootout Peacemaker, which basically does extra damage um, because that's the one that um, is used for the, the special setting rules where you get to do basically an extra D6 of damage for the first shot in a shootout. Um, that's one of the setting rules I'm working on. So he's got two Colt Peacemakers, he's got a Winchester 73, which is a, a lever action uh, rifle. I think it might technically be considered a carbine. I don't know if it's considered a carbine or a rifle, but it's uh, you know a little shorter than some other rifles. Um, and he keeps that in a saddle holster, a Bowie knife for stabbing or slashing. Also pretty pretty uh, ferocious with his fists. He can punch people pretty deadly like. And he's got four levels of combat luck, which gives him a bunch. These this. this or RPD and four RED, which is really serious. Um, but that's going to help keep him alive if anybody gets the jump on him or ends up actually getting off one of those shootout shots against him. You know, if there's six guys that he's facing down, he's going to get hit in all likelihood, or at least going to get shot at, um, even though he's got pretty high DCV and very high OCV. Um, you know, you can't get lucky forever. And so that's where that that combat luck, ironically, um, plays in, make him really tough. Skills-wise, he's got a bunch of skills. I originally built um, this character based on, this was the first character that I built, and I've tinkered with him since. Um, so some of the skills are based on sort of original stuff that the... Um, the book suggested that I decided I some of it I liked and some of it I didn't like as much. So he's got um, he's got some some pretty good skills in a number of different places, especially you know persuasion, uh, riding, streetwise survival, um, 
fast draw of 18 and persuasion of 19 are incredibly high skills so we can we'll click on that to, to get our roll going and he's got you know rolled an eight for his fast draw of 18 um and then he's got weapon familiarity with firearms common melee rapid attack dead eye eagle eyed um for range uh in spotting fast track lightning reflexes with firearms uh reloader ride like the wind uh vault deadly blow for the shootout um and then his background stuff i've got some stuff in here he's tall medium weight dark eye or dark eyes 36 years old because we're in 1874 and he was born in 1838 the story behind Sam Walker is, is I think, one of the, the interesting things that I've come up with. Um, the idea is that he um, is the son of a, a uh, young settler woman and a Apache or Comanche. I don't know. I think Apache is the group that would be um, closest. One of their braves, basically. Um, the two of them eloped during the chaos of the Texas Revolution in eighteen thirty. Six, um, Sam was born in 1838, and then um, unfortunately, his his parents essentially came to a bad end um, living with the the tribe, um, and so Sam was raised from the age of probably three or four um, with his grandfather um, Lucas Walker, who he. Uh, originally named for Lucas Samuel Walker, named Lucas both for his grandfather and of course for the the, the disciple Luke, and then Sam uh, for Sam Houston, the general of the Texas Revolutionary Army and the first president of the Republic of Texas, and historically twice governor of the state of Texas after it joined the Union, and all sorts of Sam Houston's a really interesting kind of historical character um, that uh, is. Uh, central to the the period of texas history that he belongs to um and i um just to kind of share a little bit with you guys my my family on my dad's side has been in texas a, a really long time um like from before the civil war from this part of texas kind of central texas um so i there's a sort of family history connection with the idea of this sort of um character obviously Sam Walker is kind of a generic enough name that he's not, it's not like he's uh, actually based on one of my like great, great uncles or something like that. But, um, you know, I like to think that there's, there's a sort of interesting as a sort of good Texas boy that it's worth kind of having this kind of Texas cowboy who goes around and uh, solves people's problems, gets in gunfights with outlaws and banditos and all that sort of stuff. He also he can speak uh, Spanish um, and the the native languages the the Native American languages quite well in addition to his other skills. Um, so he's a he's a really kind of probably over capable character is probably more than I need. But you know I plan on throwing a fair bit of stuff at him. And one of the things I've found with solo play is that often um, it's sort of better to over prepare than to under prepare and um to to have a character who's more broadly skilled and has all these kind of abilities because you know in a lot of systems a lot of systems are really designed for having a whole party of of players and so if you you know for instance sam walker wouldn't be um impossible to play at a 100 point level or 150 point level but um he couldn't you know take on a whole squad of bandits or something like that the way that this version can right this version is powerful enough to do all of these kind of uh spaghetti western style kind of heroic things and we'll see how how spaghetti our western gets um i've talked before on some of these videos talking about this thing that um my preference for westerns is often more in the kind of uh for lack of a better term, the sort of American Westerns, the John Ford directed a number of, of 
a number of things, including um, a number of great Western films. Um, and then there's also kind of after the sort of heyday of spaghetti Westerns, there are a number of other um, Westerns, a number of kind of um, later Clint Eastwood uh, Westerns kind of fit into that same, not exactly the same model in many ways, but um, have some similarities, I think, to that, and that they, they have a sort of grim and gritty feel, and um, Sam is sort of capable, like a, a sort of high power or low powered superhero type character almost, but he is going to be in a sort of grim and gritty world, is kind of my idea. And that I think that's going to make for an interesting kind of solo play game. Anyway, and then he's got some some heroic action points, some narrative meta currency, his keen eyesight, and his danger sense. He's you know all around just uh, a very very capable character. Um, he's good at shooting people with his bolt peacemakers, and he's good at he's got his uh, his Winchester seventy three, and he you know, and he's got his horse Rayo, his Mustang that he, he broke himself. Uh, Rayo is this, uh, this is the token that I've got for him. Rayo is a, a, a Mustang that is, um, I've got a character sheet for him, I think. Rayo hasn't had nearly as much upgrading, um, but he's, he's pretty tough. Um, Sam, Rayo, the trusty steed, Sam Walker's Mustang. Um, and he's basically one of the cool things in the Western Hero 6E book is that there's special rules for taking a kind of standard riding horse and modifying it by the horse's breed and age and, and abilities and all of that sort of stuff. So Rayo is um, faster and tougher and, and um, a really, really kind of peak... Uh, horse in a lot of ways. So Rayo the trusty steed will be Sam Walker's kind of primary companion. He's going to have some other companions too. So we've got Bernard Barton here, who's another cowboy, maybe a bounty hunter, I'm thinking. Isaac Walsh, the, the sheriff of some town, probably. So, you know, trying to keep law and order, make sure that everything goes by the rule. Juan Francisco Gabasa who's probably another bounty hunter type um, here. Louis Rowe, another gunslinger. And we've got a unnamed, as yet unnamed native chief who is going to be um, playing a role in the story. And then I've got a number of enemies that I have not uh, filled out yet, basically. I haven't filled out any of these NPCs yet. I'm probably going to use the 200-point cowpoke as the basis for filling them out and make some tinkering from there. And then I've got the, the bandit. See this bandit with the six shooter. And then I've got the bandit rider riding his horse, gun smoking. I, I like this piece of art a lot. This kind of style, the the you know inked, hard inked style. Um seems pretty cool. The elite gunslinger right here. The gunman, another in that kind of hard inked style. Um, the the native brave riding a horse and a native war chief riding a horse as well for a couple of enemies and then we'll have some named enemies as well once I kind of get all of that going um, some of the the particular bounties that um, Sam Walker is after things like that will have that going on some level um, but I think our first story is going to begin. Um, in kind of West Texas, Sam riding his trusty seed Rayo through the, the desert. Sam and hunting out looking for a bandito and named Black Joe after his great thick black beard. Black Joe has uh, done civilization wrong, has... Uh, you know, committed crimes, has been looting and stealing and killing and doing all sorts of bad stuff. Maybe not as much recently, but um, Sam riding Rayo uh, towards where he thinks Black Joe is hiding out. 
and uh, he's gonna hunt him down. And that is where we will end for today. Um, just a little short episode for today to kind of get you guys excited for um, this series. No, have no fear. Next episode, we are going to get into the actual solo play stuff. We're going to go sort of do a bit of a flashback and see kind of Sam finding out some information, going through the different towns and uh, figuring out where to get here. And then maybe we'll even get to the confrontation with Black Joe. So, um, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed. Um, I'm really excited about this series. Um, I, I think that it's going to be a whole lot of fun to have a sort of Western gunslinger traveling around the, the, the Wild West and um, getting into trouble and getting out of it. So, yeah, um, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I've been Arlen Walker. I've been live from Pelham's Wasteland, and I will see you next time. Take care, everybody.